Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at an infamous blade known as the Gull Dagger. The Gull Dagger is relatively highly sought after because of its huge magic find capability uh, relatively early on in its lifespan. And um, basically, you know, we've got tons of magic find on this thing. Um, not only is the Gull Dagger a relatively nice magic find item, um, it also, believe it or not, is pretty good for low-level melee characters. At level 4, which is when you find this thing, uh, 2 to 19 damage is actually a lot of damage, and uh, and it can pretty much kill just about anything that you want to kill out in the uh, in the moor. Um, if you are a barbarian, you can even wield two of them, and you can be a double dagger-wielding gold dagger monster. And, uh, and the absolutely fun thing about the gold dagger is that not only do we have the ability to deal damage with it at low levels, but believe it or not, they've changed the sword mastery to be blade mastery, which means now we can get extra damage and critical strikes on our uh, on our on our blades, which is pretty hilarious. Um, so we can build up blade mastery and we can get extra damage with our gall daggers. Now you might be asking yourself, how can I actually get my hands on one of these beauties? Um, and we're going to go over that in detail. So stick around for that. Um, I'd also like to hear from you guys down in the comments, you know, where was the first Gull Dagger that you ever found, and were you excited? Um, so right off the bat, you'll notice that it's 2 to 19 damage, which isn't bad at all for level 4. It is a very fast attack speed, of course, because it is a dagger, so it attacks super duper 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 fast. Uh, we also have an added damage of 1 to 15 on this, which is the reason why it does such good damage in the first place. And, uh, and basically makes it so that you can, you know, get really good damage out of this relatively low level. Uh, we also have a uh, negative 5 mana on this thing, which means that it takes our mana away. And this is actually kind of important because for a low level character uh, who starts out with relatively no mana anyway... Like, for instance, a Paladin who starts out with 15 mana. Negative 5 mana is a lot of mana from your 15 down to 10, uh, which means you're probably going to have some issues utilizing abilities if you're wielding this. Uh, it also has the 100% better chance of magic items. And, of course, this can be socketed, so you could put in even more magic find if you wanted to. You could put in um, a uh, Ist rune, which I believe is, what, uh, 30%. Uh, you could put in a... Um, a magic find jewel if you wanted to, uh, with maybe some all resistances or something on it. Uh, you could also put in a lem rune if you wanted for extra gold for monsters, which is 75% extra gold for monsters. Um, you could put one in both of those, and you could end up with 150% extra gold for monsters on top of your 200% magic find, which is certainly interesting. And um, quite honestly, the gull dagger is just one of those amazing early finds, especially if you find it early ladder, because it can be a huge boon to your character uh, in general, because it's going to help you gear up faster. I've noticed in my time that just in general, having a gull dagger early on just makes a huge difference in the amount of gear that you find as you level up. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to upgrade these, because why not? Um, most people probably don't upgrade their gull daggers, and, uh, and there's a good reason for that. The reason is that basically... Upgrading the Gull Dagger increases the requirements, um, and uh, the damage on it isn't really what you come to the Gull Dagger for. But, since we are upgrading all items that we have in these video series, of course we're going to upgrade our Gull Dagger. Now, if you do happen to find a Gull Dagger and it is ethereal, you are going to get a little bit of a damage bump, just a tiny bit, uh, to 2 to 21. And the reason for that is because it doesn't have any percentage-based increase. And this is a pretty big downside for the Gull Dagger. Uh, without any kind of percentage-based increase, it does have some issues in scaling properly. So it's not going to scale very well at all. Um... This is one of the oddities of items like this, but because the weapon is so fast, a lot of people would actually utilize this for a character who doesn't necessarily need uh, physical damage, like a Fireclaw Druid, or a, uh, a Holy Freeze Paladin, or a Holy Fire Paladin, or a Holy Shock Paladin. There are actually builds that can put Gulldagger in it, and you can utilize it just simply because it's such a fast weapon. Socket it with a Shale Rune or something so it goes even faster and just hit as quickly as humanly possible, dishing out your elemental damage. Um, so first upgrade is going to be a relatively easy one. Uh, it's going to be a soul rune, a ral rune, and a perfect emerald. And it's going to go from 2 to 19, level 4, with a very fast attack speed. 
to um, uh, 7 to 32, not really a great of an upgrade, or 33, uh, level 24 and 25 strength. So the strength requirement didn't go up so high that it was untenable or anything, um, and the level requirement, although it did go up quite a bit, is still perfectly within most characters' uh, you know range. And uh, the ethereal version, of course, can be upgraded too in the same way, and that's going to go from 2 to 21. And uh, to 10 to 42. And of course, because it's ethereal, it gets a nice negative strength of uh, negative 10. So it goes only goes to 15 strength, which is still very, very doable. Um, presence honors me. We can upgrade this one more time. And, uh, and you might be asking yourself, why? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you upgrading a gull dagger that nobody upgrades? And, and it's for science, okay? For science. For science! So we're going to upgrade this one more time from the Porganard to the, I believe it's the Mithril something. Um, it goes from 7 to 33, 25 strength, level 24, to the Bow Knife, uh, 24 to 64 damage, uh, 75 dex requirement, 38 strength requirement, and level 55. That level requirement is relatively low at level 55, uh, but the dex requirement of 75 is a big killer there because most characters that would uh, want to use a Gull Dagger for magic finding purposes are going to not want to build dexterity. And um, most namely sorceresses and things like that. So, uh, so the 75 dex requirement on that is not sexy. Uh, we also have the Ethereal version, which is going to upgrade from 10 to 42, 15 strength, level 24, to 35 to 88 one-handed damage, 65 dex, level 28. So, uh, it, it, interesting. I mean, I wouldn't really ever upgrade a Gull Dagger, but, uh, but I could see maybe one tier upgrade, just if you were actually using it on your like melee character or something like that, uh, just simply to get a little bit of extra physical damage. You might be asking, well, if you're an elemental damage character, like a Holy Fire, Holy Freeze, or Holy Shock Paladin, why do you need physical damage? Well, the answer is, you need physical damage because that is where you get your life and mana steal from. So having at least some physical damage means that you can actually life and mana steal, whereas having a really tiny damage gull dagger is not going to be uh, very much life and mana steal. Uh, whereas having a gull bone knife, for instance, would be a relatively high amount of life and mana steel, because 24 to 64 is going to do a heck of a lot more physical damage than the original 2 to 19. Um, so the gull dagger is one of those things that you really want to just kind of get your hands on. Um, and we could, of course, go over to Silo's pen and we can take a look at the drop chance probabilities, but uh, this is an item that's been actually kind of like done to death. And people actually have looked up the drop chance probabilities for gull daggers um, on many, 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 many occasions. But we're going to assume 0% magic find because we are, of course, going to be a relatively low-level character who is going to try and get their hands on this. We are also going to only look in normal difficulty because I do feel like uh, normal difficulty is going to be where you want to get your hands on this. Later on in the game... Should you, you know, um, come across an Blade of Alibaba or you've got enough Istruns and you can make yourself a sixth Isted Phase Blade or something, you know, there are other options for magic finding items. But early game, the Gull Dagger is one of the best items that you can possibly use for magic finding purposes. So that's why we're going to look strictly based on normal difficulty um, in this particular uh, video. So uh, let's take a look at probabilities here. And as you can see, Andariel in normal has a 1 in 1,420. Um, not the greatest probability, but it certainly could fall from her. Uh, Blood Raven is 1 in 3,258. And, of course, this is with 0% magic find. And even if you can just add, you know, let's say 20% magic find to this number, um, you know, as an early level character, you notice that the probabilities do go down rather nicely. And if you can get that up to, like, 50%, you know, as a low-level character, you notice that it really starts to affect your percentage chance for monsters like Andario and whatnot, which is certainly nice. But we want to find this at level 4. We want to find this as a really low-level character. So who can we look for this item for from a really low-level character? Well, Cold Crow, who is in cave level 1 and is extremely easy to get to, has the best drop chance probability for this item, pretty much bar none. So um, if you're wondering where Cold Crow is, we're going to go find her real quick, because why not? Um, we're going to go into the Cold Plains, and, uh, and we're going to run over to the Cold, or sorry, the Cave Level 1. Now the Cave Level 1 is uh, always in Cold Plains, of course, and it's relatively easy to get to. Is that Bishy Bosch? Oh, that's, that's Pit Drool the Poopy Face. 
Um, and of course, in normal difficulty, Cold Crow is relatively easy to kill. Uh, the reason why Cold Crow has a higher drop chance probability than just about any other monster is because she has a really low loot table. She cannot drop a lot of items. In fact, most of the items in the game that she can drop are really low class treasure class items. And because of this extremely low treasure class, she is only capable of dropping a handful of items in the game at all. Um, and the Gull Dagger is one of them. Um, and since her drop list is so ridiculously tiny, farming her in normal difficulty as a low-level character is one of the best ways to get your hands on a Gull Dagger. Um, and I could perhaps go to normal difficulty. I'm in hell difficulty right now, so of course this is not going to be the the optimal choice here. And I'm using two Gull Daggers, so good luck actually killing anything with two Gull Daggers. One of them is ethereal, mind you. Uh, but Cold Crow is always cold enchanted, thus the cold in her name, Cold Crow. Um, she is usually toward the back of the cave, so usually you have to go try and find the uh, like the chest area, like you know what would what would kind of be the chest area, and she's usually guarding like sort of like the back of the cave. Um, she is of course in a pack, so you're gonna find her along with her minions. So if you see any of the bow girls who are uh, minions, you're probably getting close to her location. Um, if you're looking for Gull Dagger early on in ladder, she honestly is your best chance for a Gull Dagger, uh, because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just kill her multiple times, as many times as you possibly can, um, within quick succession, you know, just create new games, go in, kill her, create new game, go in, kill her, create new game, go in, kill her, and eventually she will drop you a Gull Dagger. In fact, once you get your first Gull Dagger, you can go back and farm her some more with your 100% magic find and any other magic find equipment that you can obtain, and, uh, and you will potentially be able to farm her even faster and better. Um, I believe that is Cold Crow. Yes, that is Cold Crow right there. Uh, Demon, Cold Enchanted, and of course she has other effects in uh, in Hell difficulty, but she does not have those effects in Nightmare, or sorry, in Normal difficulty. So if we were to go to Normal difficulty and farm her, uh, she is a really easy farm in Normal difficulty. The monsters in Normal difficulty, of course, are extremely weak, and there's pretty much nothing that they can do to fight back against you when you're a higher level character. Uh, the cave level one is sometimes even right next to the waypoint, uh, which makes it even easier. And of course, in normal difficulty, you can pretty much just run through here with absolute ease. Um, after you kill Cold Crow, if you are a um, item find barbarian, you can actually utilize item find on her corpse um, to get yourself a uh, another chance at a Gull Dagger because. When you use item find, it actually uses the monster's level and the monster's drop chances based on um, her ability. Um, so make sure you don't freeze her and destroy her corpse if you're a barbarian because you want to item find her again so you have a second chance at a gall dagger. And uh, let's see if we can find her and we'll use item find on her as well. And we'll see if we can get... Um, that was not her. We'll see if we can get a Gull Dagger from her. That'd be funny, right? If I managed to find a Gull Dagger during the Gull Dagger video, I would, uh, I would, I would die. Yep, that's it. No more videos from Ginger Gaming Mentor. He died. He found a Gull Dagger while he was doing the Gull Dagger video and, and just had a heart attack. Passed out. Yep, yep, done. Where are you, Cold Crow? Sometimes she's a pain in the butt to find. I'm gonna be honest. She's not always easy to locate. I usually just keep running until someone starts shooting at me with arrows. It's usually a good sign that I'm nearby. <laughs> I mean, there's six of her. I mean, it's the Cold Crow and her, like, five little minions. So normally when you get close to Cold Crow, a bunch of arrows start flying at your forehead. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good sign that you're close by. You know, you're, you're near. You're near the objective goalpost. And um, I'm going to hork her corpse, too. We're going to hork her corpse, and we're going to see if we can get two gall daggers. That'd be some jank, wouldn't it? A killer. She drops a gall dagger. Oh, no, she can't drop two. Never mind. I just remembered. Um, because, of course, you can only have one unique item drop per game. So if she does drop a Gull Dagger, 
and I hork her corpse, there's no chance for a second gull dagger because, of course, she can only drop... The only one gull dagger can drop per game. So I do have to keep that in mind. How did I... Did I just, like, straight up miss her? Was she, like, all the way at the beginning and I just, like, walked right by her or something? Her, her location in the cave is not always set. Sometimes she is closer to the front. Dreadfester. That's definitely not her. I'm afraid to just pause it and go hunting for her because, of course, I'm a higher level character. And, uh, and if I find her, I'm probably just going to end up killing her as I whirlwind through her. So it'll be a rather instantaneous little, uh, little, little encounter. It does look like I missed some zones over there, over there, over there, over there, over there, over there. Yep, there's one over here I missed. Hey, oh, eh, I see, I see a little, I see a little demons, some little demon rangers. Some little demon rangers. There she is. What's up, Cold Grove? And we got a sash. So let's fork her corpse and let's see if we get uh, an item from her corpse. How about that? Not enough mana. Aww, no dagger. We did get uh, a rare leather armor, a rare buckler, and a rare sash. So as you can see, she also tends to drop a lot of rare items as well. Uh, so farm her over and over again. See if you can get yourself a da gold dagger that way. Yeah. And it's not here. That's it. We're selling everything. No. No. I need more money for gambling. I need more money for gambling. Every penny. Every penny. We must sell everything. Our shirt. Our clothes. All of it. Everything we've got for the gambling. The gambling gods. We need Geed. I need more daggers. Why Geed? Has anyone else ever uh, thought that, you know, selling the daggers back to him is probably not a good idea? Because he's probably just selling you back the same daggers that you just saw. <laughs> well, he'll thank you. I'll put these out for gamble. Why, why, thank you a lot. Why, why, I appreciate it. What's that? Sell more stuff? What, what? Um, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, how about, here's some runes. We're gonna sell these. How about some of those? We'll sell some of that. Sell some, some of these. Who needs any of this stuff? No, 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 this stuff is for losers. Let's go to Loot Go Lane so we can get more money for these items. Yes. No, my gold's on the floor. Selling my shirt for more money. Selling my stuff for more money. Selling everything that I got. I don't really care what you want. Selling all of my stuff for gambling. Gonna buy everything I can. Selling all my stuff just for gambling. I'm walking around naked. Naked. <laughs> my boys, my boys. I can't believe we still haven't gotten a gold actor. Two full stashes of gold. And I sold everything that I've got. And poor Elzix over here is running out of daggers. He's running out of daggers. I don't know what to do. He's running out of daggers. And I got to go do do. No. No. 
I can't believe we've got to end this without me finding a gold dagger. It's easy, he says. He'll find a gold dagger in like two minutes, he says. It's not a big deal, he says. You guys are going to find one easy. Mr. Nini, we now hang our heads in shame. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, I'm going to end the video here without having found a gold dagger by gambling. And uh, I'm probably not going to include all one hour and four minutes of me gambling and failing. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching. Mm -hmm.